How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. First and foremost, I just want to thank all of the people who have, uh, the new subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. I thank you very much. I appreciate it. And new subscribers are welcome. So I hope you're enjoying the Mass Effect trilogy. And we are going to continue here on the Citadel with Commander Shepard. Sadly, in our last episode, we lost a valued friend uh, who was, you know, had a much more prominent role in Mass Effect 2, but this is two people that we've lost. And after leaving Huerta Memorial, Shepard is returning back to the Normandy, where it is docked on the Citadel. And let's see if there's anything else that's going to happen. I never noticed that the I Normandy was so private. prominent. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not. Okay, I thought I was getting a mission, but uh, no. Anything else? As I know, you know, we're in Act 2 now, so things are, are going to be happening. Okay, I don't see anybody that wants to talk to me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Prothean data drives. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's get back on board the ship and hope we won't have another dream. Uh-oh. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went all went down and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. <laughs> uh, I probably would have if I had the option. I mean, yeah, I saved you metagaming here because of your uh, biotic combo abilities. But, let's be frank, you were in my way. Speculating is useless. Doesn't matter. It could have played out a dozen different ways. Main thing is, we stopped the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity and it matters you're talking about Adina he gave me no choice so I took the shot any soldier would have done the same including you <sighs> okay look Shepard there's uh there's another reason I'm here Hackett offered me a position but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again um, not a good idea. I don't know, can we actually turn him away? That wouldn't be good. Let's say absolutely we want him on the team. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. It's about time. Aye, aye, sir. About time.
Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Ashiel. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hacker send you my reports on him. Okay. So you know Kai Lang. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Grayson, Grayson. I'm not sure. I know there's a... I think it might be in some of the novels, whoever this Grayson was. And whatever it is they did. All right, so he'll die like all the rest. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. Hmm. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Nobody can stand in our way. Cerberus, Reapers, they'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Uh-oh. The Quarians. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Uh-oh. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. So we got plus four renegade. Oh, and look at all this stuff coming up here. Perseus Veil. Distress signal from Masana. All right, so we have a Citadel fleet now. Solarian researchers have been added. Solarian special task group. The Cerberus coup. Okay. And Lessus. Is that it? Yes. All right, let's look at our war terminal and see what we're up against at the moment. Okay, so effective military strength continues to increase. All right, so we now have working on the Crucible Alliance Engineering Corps, the Exogeny Scientists from Pharos. And we have Solarian researchers and the Asari Science Team and the Interferometric Array. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have the Asari Second Fleet has joined us. 
as, as well as the Sixth Fleet. We have Turians, the Turian Sixth Fleet. Salarians, the Salarian Special Task Group. And what's this in Citadel Space? We have the Citadel Fleet and the Citadel Defense Force. Okay, Shepard is really doing the best he can. All right, let's get back to the CIC. And the Normandy is a lot emptier now with the Krogan and the Turian gone. I, I like the gossip that they've got going on here. It's like you, you want to stop and listen. Commander, oh I've gosh. Got something interesting. Have you got a minute? For you, yes. What is it? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Hmm, yeah, if we can trust them. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Hmm, thank you. Okay, so the ex-Cerberus scientists. And what have we got here? Oh my goodness, look at all the, these emails. Okay, so from Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive. So let's get your crew out of there. You're all on shore leave. That's an order. We need everyone at their best. One more thing. Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. And this is the Citadel DLC that is being referred to here. All right, what else? And we're not doing it at this moment, but, you know, it is there. Okay, so here is the dossier on Kai Lang. Okay, so what do we have? All right, this is just, like, routine stuff. Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Is there anything in here about the cereal? I think he likes to eat cereal and when he's about to kill someone or after they're dead, I'm not sure. Anyhow. Okay, so he has cybernetic modifications that include Cerberus, Phantom Class, Implants. Okay, so we have definitely got an adversary for Shepard. All right, we have an ANN news alert. Okay, oh, what? Authorities have offered 25,000 credits for the arrest or capture, dead or alive, of the captain of the freighter Strontium Mule. And you may remember the Strontium Mule from Mass Effect 2. Surveillance footage clearly shows Cerberus forces deploying from the freighter during the recent coup attempt it escaped during the attack, going straight past idling Citadel fleet. The freighter was lost with all hands while transporting Porothean artifacts in 2185. The Blue Sun's mercenary group, who had been hired to protect the ship during its dangerous trip in the Terminus, denied all responsibility, saying an overwhelming Cerberus force of at least 30 or 40 commandos had stormed the ship and killed all aboard. The authorities say little is known about its current whereabouts, but the last sighting saw it leaving the Eagle Nebula toward the Terminus. Okay, so what is this? Hierarchy Command, Derlish Mole? Okay, Cerberus just 
ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. Isn't this, is this the same Din Korlak from the original Mass Effect? Oh lord, I tell you, everything is going full circle here. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But their security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a specter and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I have forwarded information on his last known location to the Spectre office on the Citadel. All right. Jack, meet me at the bar. The students are kicking ass and taking names. They're, they're keeping them on a short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. Oh, Spectre Specialist Trainer, sorry. Thanks for taking the time to speak with a civilian. Who's the civilian? I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games. Okay. What? L Lieutenant Vega wants us? Just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical. Just wanted to chat. All right, so I think that's it. I am going to go chat with Vega. I don't know. That's it's. This is odd that he wants to see me. So let's go see what's up. I don't rem call, remember, recall that he had any sort of side missions. Wow, the Strontium Mule. Is he here? Yes, he's down here. So yeah, the, these little side missions and stuff are coming fast and furious. Let's see what James Vega wants. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. That's it? You had me come all the way down here? I mean, we didn't even get a cutscene. You know what? L let me try this one more time. This can't be right. Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Hey. Hey. Okay. You know what, James? Next time you need to see me, don't need to see me. All right, we have a Quarian model somebody left out here. And where is, um, Cortez? I want to make sure he's okay. Last time we came down here, he was crying, so. Is this him? Yes. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Mm, do you ever rest? I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any RR? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. All right, well, don't work too hard. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. 
When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, do it for me. All right, I hope this doesn't go down a path that we... No, mm-mm. Um, it's your choice. Do what you need, but it might help. I'll think about it. Thanks. Because I don't know what this game is going to do. I mean, he's definitely committed to Liara, and I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> I don't want to give him the wrong signals. Okay, um... I think we're done here. I don't know if there are any upgrades or anything. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'll do that off camera. Let's go back up to the CIC. Commander, Dr. Uh -oh. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the medbay. Oh boy, okay. So what, has she found out something about my implants? Are they morphing into phantom class implants? Am I going to be a phantom? What, Garrus is out here? What, Garrus? Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Yes. If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. <laughs> Still, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. Losing one was enough. Okay. All right. You know how people, you know, like, hate to go see the doctor and stuff? This is one of those moments. It's like, you never know. What the heck? May I speak with you, Commander? That they, they want to tell you. Oh, my God. Is it going to be bad news? All right, Dr. Chakwas. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. Oh. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, why me? Why can't you do it? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. All right, I will. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Okay, well. Effective Medigel is, is always a plus. All right, so that was a relatively pleasant visit to the doctor. It wasn't about his health. Okay. Um, oh, look at her. She's actually cooking. Wow. Okay. All right. Liara, have you got anything for me? Across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Uh, well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Liara? Good to see you again, Shepard. Okay, she's got nothing. Audio recording from Counselor Gury Senate Office and... These th I'm not reading these. I mean, if you want to look through this, pause the video. I don't find them interesting. All right, and I don't think we're going to have any more intel. No. 
Okay, so let's go. Please enjoy your day. So I think we've talked to most people. I don't know. Um, I can't remember where Caden ends up hanging out on the ship, but that's cool. We'll just we'll find him later. All right, I think we're caught up on. Commander, Admiral Anderson, Good Lord. Are we ever going to leave space dock? Are you kidding me? Commander. Yes. Oh my goodness. I thought we were done. All right. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Well, that's good to hear. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna say it sounds bad. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Alright, so the seeds have been planted that the Reapers are amassing in London. All right, let me go back to the CIC and see who else wants to talk to me. So this episode, I guess, is, is going to primarily just be about talking. Commander. And I think we have a little bit more time. I think I'm going to go up here and check on Joker and Edie. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Joker. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Okay, you got Has nothing. Has the R stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Edie. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on T'Chunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Hmm. Hmm. That's... That's a deep question. 
Now, many people would say the job it was designed for. And I think primarily, I mean, that is why Synthetic Life was created. But with all the recent developments and, you know, the Synthetic Life becoming self-aware, you know, people are now, you know, leaning in the other direction, that it's whatever it wants to be. But I'm a little bit old school here. If you're going to design Synthetic Life, that it does have a purpose. So, what it was designed for. Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. Mm. That's the truth. How would this differ from our present course? It wouldn't be servitude? The difference is you decide it's worth it. No one tells you it is. I see. I will examine this issue. Shepard, I have examined the issue. Oh, gosh. The Reapers threatened the crew of this ship and other quick. organics who are helping me develop perspectives on existence. Were I to approach Reapers to request similar perspectives, it is likely I would be destroyed. I would rather risk non-functionality with the crew of the Normandy than risk it alone. Glad to hear it, Edie. Good to have you on board. Okay. Oh, what? We've unlocked the defense matrix. And that... Oh, what is this up here? Oh, shutter control. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave the shutters. I think they're open now, I'm hoping. They look like they're closed. There we go. Whoop. Now they're closed. Let's open them. There we go. Let's see the stars. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go back over here to our console. Does she want to tell me anything else? No, no. All right. Let's look at the galaxy map. And see if we can't figure out what we're going to do next. Alright, so we're at the Citadel. And these um, missions meet Dr. Bryson and go to Dock 42. These are DLCs. The Dr. Bryson is the Leviathan DLC. And Dock 42 is the Omega DLC, just to let you know. So all those have been installed and you know we'll get to them at some point so let's see on the relay what have we got flashing now hmm the quarians at the far rim and what's this here investigate the asari colony and the ex cerberus scientist so you know the the goal here is whenever you have reapers encroaching on a sector we try to get there because i believe these are time sensitive so in our next episode, I don't know if I'm flipping a coin, don't know how we're going to decide, but we got to go, you know, to both of these actually, but which one we do first, I don't know yet. All right, let's exit from our galaxy map. Okay, well, that'll do it for this episode. And until next time, this is Hill! And I'm out.